and Trey Daly's students. This is Miss Tolman helping out Miss Blair. Uh, we are in our unit two vocabulary development. We are on lesson five, Greek and Latin phrases used in English. Uh, we don't have any vocabulary for this, but again, we do have a beautiful chart here that it is a good idea to uh, write down these, have this chart ready to go, write it down <coughs> so that you may use it as notes um, in further quizzes as well as the questions help us. All of the words in the English language come from three primary sources. Anglo-Saxon, which is Middle English, Romance, Latin and its related languages, Spanish, French, and Italian, and Greek. Certain words and phrases in English text remain in their original context without being translated into English. You are expected to know the meaning of these phrases, many of which appear in laws and governmental writings. Below is a list of words and phrases to learn. So we have bona fide, it means to be genuine, sincere, and in good faith. Carpe diem, seize the day or enjoy the moment. Data, facts or pieces of information. De facto, from the fact, in reality, and actually. E pluribus unum, the motto of the United States. One out of many. Ergo, therefore and hence. Et al, and others, etc., and so forth, and others, and so on. Eureka, I have found it. Excelsior is higher. Ex libris is from the books. Ex post facto, arising or enacted after the fact, retroactive, after the deed, ex post facto, law is one in <coughs> which sets as a penalty for an act that was not illegal at the time it was performed. Such laws are forbidden by the U.S. So that's if like somebody, oh, well, well that's not right. Well, it's not against the law. Uh, it, it is now. Got it right. Gladiator, the word from Gladys, which means sword. It's a person who engages in a fight. <coughs> Habeas corpus. The right of a citizen to have a document that prevents unlawful uh, imprisonment. In absentia, in one absence. Incognito, without one's name, character, and rank concealed. In excelsis, in the highest. Innuendo, by hinting. To nod to, meaning an indirect or subtle, subtle usually derogatory implication Insinuation, magnus opus, that's a masterpiece. Memorabilia, Remem remembrance is worthy of being remembered. Miscellaneous, it's a mixture. Modus operandi, method or way of working. Nemesis, an opponent or rival whom someone cannot overcome, not enemy. Veni, vidi, vici, I came, I saw, I conquered. Verbatim, it's word for word. Versus is against. Via, it's by the way of, used to show routes or roads in Rome. <coughs> so here are your questions that go along with those. Not too many there, it's not bad. I'm not gonna read through them because they are gonna be a little bit different for everybody. Uh, just know that you are doing an amazing job. Keep up the good work. I see you, you're doing good. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.